Sit straight, close your eyes gently. Guru Charan Saro Jaraja Nija Mana Mukura Sudhari Barana Ura Guvara Vimala Jasu Jodayak Palachari Buddhi Hina Tanujani Ke Sumiro Pavana Kumar Bala Buddhi Vidya Dehu Mohi Harahu kale sabikar Siyavar Ramachandra ki jai Pavan suta hanu maani ki jai Umapati mahadev ki jai Bolo bhai sab san tan ki jai Anjani Aya Vidmahe Om Anjani Aya Vidmahe राम दूताय धीमहि तन्नो हनुमान प्रचोदयात् Puranas are the elaboration of the mantras of the Veda. And to understand the mantras of the Veda, Puranas become very helpful. Sometimes people wonder, is Hanuman an added deity in the future? literature because scholars they study in a very linear manner so therefore they say in the veda we do not see mention of hanuman shri ram ram naam is mentioned krishna naam is also mentioned mantras on them also are there but the personification in form that we see in the Puranic literature, some say that Hanuman is not mentioned, but the subtleties of the Vedic mantras. Hanumanji is called as Vayuputra, the son of Vayu or air. Now if you see the or study the Veda Akashad Vayuhu Vayu Agnihi right so from Vayu what came? Agni. So in a way Vayu is the cause Agni is the effect. Vayu is the father then Agni becomes the son. And who is the son of Vayu? Is Agni. And therefore Hanumanji represents fire in the Veda. 
this following verse, which is also a namaskara, which is a salutations to Anjaneya Pavanasutta Hanuman, speaks about how You know, when there is an expression also, yeah. he set on fire. Hmm? Yeah. Without fire, there is no heat, no energy, no dynamism, no brilliance. So here we see Hanumanji really on fire. Hmm? So this verse. Namami tam pranjali rajaneyam. I know I chanted the last verse first. Last line, no? Ulangya sindho salilam salilam. Yashoka vanni janakatma jaya. Adayate naiva dadaha lankam Namami tam pranjali ranjaneyam Pranjali hi namami With my hands folded In awe, in reverence I salute, I bow down, namami tam pranjali anjaneyam to that son of anjani yaha hu ulangya sindhau salilam salilam who jumped across playfully as though it was child's play over this vast ocean with its many waves he jumped across so playfully as a little boy plays around jumps around and having jumped across the ocean vast ocean as though it was a child's play and therefore, in Hanuman Chalisa also it is said, Juga Sahasra Jo Jana Parabhanu Liliyotahi Madhura Pala Janu Prabhu Mudrika Meli Mukhamahi Jaladilangi Gai Acharajanahi People think that, you know, that 800 miles that everybody thought was impossible to cross and Hanumanji cross and we don't believe in it. That's why, you know, we love using this word. Yeah. Unbelievable. No? I've just come from USA. Yeah? <laughs> Anything they will look at you and say, unbelievable. No? Oh, you came after three years in during COVID. Unbelievable. Are, but I'm standing in front of you. <laughs> But it's an expression of unbelieving. It's like it's impossible, no? unbelievable. That's Hanumanji. No? So, in Sri Ramcharit, uh, in, in Hanuman Chalisa, it is said that who, as a child, playfully jumped across the space to devour the sun, and that Hanumanji jumped across the ocean as though it was a child's place and what is there to wonder about because for him it was like a child's play and that too also Prabhu Mudri Ka Meli Mukhamai and the ring of Bhagwan. where should you keep it? You have to keep it in a very safe place. Huh? At the same time in a sacred place. You will say, mouth is sacred? 
monkey, what else? Everything will go into the mouth, you might say. But not because of that. Every limb of our body has got some ornament or the other. Some people, though, even all the ten fingers, they have rings. Hmm? They are now grahas, but they have got ten rings in their hand. You know? One for safety. Yeah. But even Ravan had ten heads, and he thought that he had offered those ten heads to Lord Shiva, and then Lord Shiva blessed him back with those ten heads. So he said, not even Rudra, the ten Rudras could ever kill him. Therefore, Bhagwan Shiva manifested as the 11th Rudra. And again, the word Rudra means one who wails, who cries. It is said that when Brahmaji, the whole creation came from his mind and the manifestation of Rudra is that he was crying, therefore he was called as Rudra. But who or what he was crying for, that people don't understand. But here we will understand. That the eleventh avatar of Rudra is Hanumanji. And Rudra is the destructive force that at the time of dissolution, the entire world is burnt down to ashes or the universe is burned down to ashes, just powdered energy mass, which we see today even in scientific description of dissolution. This Rudra, the sheer fire of destruction. And we also know that even in the deep waters, there are volcanoes and it's called the submarine fire. And that fire that comes from the ocean, the waters cover it. Maximum you might see some bubbles outside. But here is Anjaniya who playfully crosses over the vast ocean of water so playfully and this samsar also is called as sagar with its ever changing waves with its depth with its unknown creatures where you drown, he crossed it so playfully. And in between came also many difficulties, obstacles, temptations. Even those he crossed as though it was child's play. To give up the tendency for rest, that when the mountain appeared there and asked him that Hanuman, have a break, have a Kit Kat. <laughs> but Hanuman tehi parsa kar jori ki na pranam Ram kaj ki e binu mohi kaha vishram. There are many, many, many such secrets that are revealed here that one of the biggest, biggest obstacle in our own journey to our success and what to talk about the spiritual attainment of enlightenment, realization, is the tendency to take a break, take a rest. Nowadays, it's become fashionable. 
I'm taking, you know, I'm taking a sabbatical. Yeah. All this karma, karma, karma. Yeah. Karma. Karma, you know. Now I'm taking a retreat. This has become very fashionable. So now we use the word sabbatical also, you know. But as Gurudev said, if you rest, you rest, you rust. And how can you transcend that? Very easily. For Hanumanji, it was not a moment of, should I, should I not? Hmm? Sankalpa, Vikalpa, monkey mind. Simple thing is, Ram kaj ki ye binu mohi kaha vishram. Till I have done Bhagwan's work, there is no rest for me. And what that signifies, we will see. Hmm? Then comes Sursa on the way. She opens her mouth big, Hanumanji becomes taller. She opens her mouth big, Hanumanji becomes taller. She opens her mouth big, Hanumanji becomes taller. What a game going on there, you know. And on television series, they can collect advertisements because that goes on. Dun 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 Now I'm not going to get any extra Dakshina, so why should I waste time? Okay. The more days you take, the more classes you take, Dakshina becomes only that much. So it is not like a television series that, you know, you keep on. Uh, so, <laughs> playfully, you know, joyfully, you know. That's why children enjoy that, everybody enjoys that whole play between Sursa and Hanuman. Effortlessly, he became taller, double her size. She would open her mouth even bigger, and he would grow bigger, bigger. Finally, how long this play can go on? He becomes small, goes into her mouth, and comes out. The obstacle in any project, any seva, yeah, is this ego. This prestige issue, and each one wants to be bigger than the other. Yeah. Become small, get out. For him, it was not difficult to become small, become a little baby, get into the mouth of Sursa, and go away. And in between, sometimes hmm, you have. Hmm, Sinika dragging him down into the ocean. And such tendencies like jealousy that comes up in children also when they play, he immediately destroys that. It's just like children, no? Just kick a stone and walk away from there. He just walks away and therefore having crossed this ocean so effortlessly, even though he put in so much effort, for him it appeared no effort. Why? Vidyavana guni ati chatur Ram kaj karibe ko atur That when we have that goal in front of us and higher and nobler the goal Greater is the dynamism, the energy, and the amount of energy and dynamism that you have. Even the most difficult task, because of that inspiration and that strength, becomes child's play. Enjoyable, in fact. So, therefore, ulangya sindho salilam salilam. Having crossed the ocean, vast, vast ocean with waves, effortlessly. And 
शोकवन्नी जनकात्म जाया आधाय तेने वदा लंका experiencing and seeing that fire of sorrow of the daughter of janak janakatma jaya the daughter of janak and her fire pangs of sorrow आधाय तेन ददाह लंका एंड विथ दैट फायर ऑफ सॉरो ऑफ जानकी माता ही बर्न द एंटायर लंका टू दैट सन ऑफ आंजने विथ फोल्डेड हैंड्स आई बाव even the significance of the name janaka putri sita the story of sita's birth is also very unique there is of course many many stories behind that but it seems that when janak maharaj even though janak maharaj is a king and he understands the importance of farmers and he himself considered to be an enlightened person gnani and yet admi administrating the entire nation goes to the field directly getting his hands dirty goes into the fields himself to plow and there is where he finds sita wherever there is a nation an organization a family a society where the men and women of knowledge enlightenment lead the nation administer the nation and are ready to do any form of work because they don't need anything out of any action in the gita fourth chapter krishna explains this to arjuna that i have got nothing to gain yet why do you think even as the lord of the universe i function it is only in such a nation there can be sita and sita represents our entire dharmic and spiritual culture that which manifested out of the sacrifice the service the dedication of such great masters like janak maharaj what is our own mission if it was not for puja gurudev sitting in the serene himalayan mountains having gained from none other hmm, than taponji maharaj that knowledge and the means through swami shivanand ji maharaj yeah. of sacrifice and service and there where he got that inspiration from mother ganga to flow down to the world what action has he not done i was telling also yesterday in the satsang 
even the bricks of this place. Gurudev's vision, Gurudev's hands have touched it. He would sit there building this place for us so that we could come here for a quiet spiritual retreat. Yeah. Going around the world collecting money yeah. to build these things for whom? For us. And such a society is not possible until and unless there are men and women of knowledge, of enlightenment, free from all personal desire, ready for the welfare of everybody, through setting an example themselves and creating through their actions such productivity in the world and so effortlessly that you will never feel and I could see that Gurudev used to run the entire world and run around the entire world and when he used to come here and we had the camps we know from early morning how he was working to late nights how he was working yet you would never see any strain on him, never see any stress on him. As though he created this, like he jumped from the Himalayas, not only all the way to Lanka, but round the world and crossed not one ocean, but many oceans. and burnt all the Lanka in our life. So if you see this verse that Shokavanhim Janakatma Jaya that fire of sorrow that Janaki Mata was experiencing Janakputri was experiencing with that, he burnt the entire Lanka. The story of the Ramayan, when we know that Hanumanji came only to Lanka to find out where Mother Sita is and bring back the message to Ramchandraji. It is said that Hanumanji was asked also that why did you not bring Mother Sita back? He also had started with that enthusiasm that I only will go and bring Mother Sita back. And Jamban said, no, your work is to go and find Sita. Seeing the sorrow of Sita, he said, Mother, I would have taken you right now myself. But I know this is the privilege of Ramchandraji. And of course, Mother Sita also wanted that one. When Hanumanji reached Ashok Vatika and there also he saw how Ravan was troubling Sita and telling all these Rakshasis that trouble her in such a way that she will have to give in. Because fear, constant goading, constant torture, even the strongest of people will have to give in. That resilience of Sita at that time, fearlessness of Sita, because those who follow Dharma, Dharma protects them. To be able to call Ravan in his kingdom, under his captivity, a glow worm, a worm, that is the daring of Sita. 
And when Hanumanji recognizes that this is my mother, Sita, he waits patiently. And when Sita was crying out, Oh heavens, rather than bearing this insult and living in captivity of Ravan, bearing these pangs of insults and sorrows, cannot some fire from the heaven fall on me? One star fall on me? Oh Ashoka tree, you are supposed to remove the shoka of everyone. Even here, those who have a little knowledge of Ayurveda, the Ashoka tree, especially for women, is one of the most medicinal trees. And hey Ashoka, can you not drop your flames? on me. And De Prabhu Mudrika Shoka Nivaru. Hanumanji said that if I don't now timely do something, he cannot come immediately in front of her. Because already frightened by these Rakshasas and first impression very often becomes a lasting impression. He dropped the ring of Ramchandraji into a lap. She thought it was a flame that had fallen according to her request, a spark, and she held it in her sari and then recognized the ring of Ramchandraji. Hanumanji sang the glory of Ramchandraji. That's why I said that he was the one who composed the Ramayan. And Valmiki said, in front of your Ramayan, what will my Ramayan start? And again, to bring glory to Valmiki ji, to man, he immersed his Ramayana into the ocean. He sang the Ramayana. Sita ji says, who is the one come in front of me? And when Hanuman ji comes, Sukshma Rupa Dari, Siyahi Dikhava, Bikata Rupa Dari, Lanka Jarava, when he came in front of Mother Sita and Sita ji weeping away saying that does my Ram even remember me? That Karuna Nidhan who cannot bear the sorrow of anyone how come I have been abandoned for so long? And Hanumanji tells her that no Mata, Prabhu is coming. He is so searching for you. He is coming. He has sent me here. And he tells her that as much as you are pining for him and as much as you love him, he loves you double. Now sometimes you say, what do you mean to say? But I'll tell you, in this world, no. If you love someone and you hear that that person loves you doubly so, hmm? yeah. it's not that Sita ji loves less, but Ram Chandra ji loves you even more. Hmm? Yeah. Shokha nivaro ko nahi janate hai jag me kapi sankat mochan naam pi. Later on, when Hanumanji reports to Ramchandraji, Ramchandraji says to Hanumanji, so how is Sita living in Lanka, preserving her life? Hanumanji replies, he says that that fire of separation in her heart the pangs of sorrow in her heart itself would burn her. And those pranas 
are waiting to leave her body because of that fire. And she sent the message that give my bless, uh, get, give my pranams to Ramchandra ji along with Lakshman and tell him that without you my life would have left this body. But what to do? These selfish eyes of mine with the hope of seeing you at least once. Every time that fire rises to consume me, they shed tears to quench this fire. That is the fire that Hanumanji took that was burning Mother Sita, that fire of sorrow and he lit the whole of Lanka with it. When he gave the ring to Mother Sita and seeing her sorrow, he just said, Mother, can I go and eat some fruits? Because my work is done. Now I'm hungry. Can I eat my fruits? But he wanted to go and teach all these Rakshasas who were troubling her. And finally when Ravan Putra Aksha was killed and Ravan sent Indrajit, Meghnath there and a terrible fight took place between them and Indrajit threw a Brahmastra at Hanuman. But now there was no stopping Hanuman. There was no stopping Hanuman. And then shot a Nagpash, a psychedelic or psychological warfare where you feel that snakes are binding you and striking you. He wanted to carry Hanumanji, but Hanumanji was not, they were not able to. And Brahmastra cannot destroy Hanumanji. He had got the boon from Brahmaji himself when Indra dropped him from the sky. But so that, and this is the glory of saints and sages, that the value of Brahmastra, and after all he is a Rudra avatar, that people do not take lust lightly Shivji did the leela of running after Mohini because he can't run after any others, you know. See Hanumanji also, that the glory of Brahmastra does not fade away. He sat there, he's just lay down there as though he's in a coma. And when they picked him up and dragged him on the streets of Lanka and all these other people, whether men or women, children, were laughing, throwing stones on this monkey. He was watching every place, every lane. GPS was created by Hanumanji. He mapped the whole of Lanka. And he wanted to be caught so that he could be taken to Ravana's court. And when he went to Ravana's court, there Ravan sees, hey, monkey, your audacity that you destroyed my favorite garden. And Hanumanji says to him, like, who are you? He asked him. He says, from whose drop of power? From that ocean of power, whose drop you have 
fought your Star Wars and with which you could conquer the entire world and rule over it. Ta Sudhut Main. I am his messenger. And Hanumanji advises him that my Lord who can destroy you that Lord is also the Lord of compassion. You surrender to him and give back Mother Sita and you can not only rule Lanka, you can rule the three worlds. And Ravan started laughing. Of course, there's a big story there that don't you know who I am? Yeah, I'm Ravan, I'm this, that, that. And, uh, you know, I'm the unvanquished. And Hanumanji says, yes, I hear about, I, which Ravan are you, by the way? You know? Yeah. One whom Sahasra Bahu de defeated. The other one is, uh, you know, that one which uh, Wali, you know, you remember you know, that there was one Ravan that he caught him by the tail and then he had to go around the earth after his Sandhya Vandan and he had put it under his armpit, you know. And as you know, you know, Vanars generally don't use de deodorants, you know, like many, you know. And didn't know what to do, so made him that, you know, that hanging... The Guruji was talking about yesterday, you know, those uh, hanging toys uh, that Angad did not know from where it was. So, so Angad went on kicking the, that, uh, which, which of that Ravan are you, you know? <laughs> anyway, that's also a long story, but that's, you know. And Ravan felt so insulted and he said, huh? hmm? first of all, I need a monkey only to be my guru, hmm? to give me advice. <laughs> and that tapasvi hmm, with monkeys hmm, will come and fight me. Monkeys like you. And that's why he wanted to show what a monkey like him can do. And he got so angry that he said, execute him right away. That's the time Vibhishan came there and uh, he told Ravan, see, according to diplomatic you know, laws of international laws, he has come as an emissary, he has come as a diplomat, he has come as an ambassador. If you kill him, you know, international relationships would be very bad, as though Ravan really cared. Yeah. But your reputation will be bad. You know, nowadays also, no, you can go on, no, whatever wars going on. Actually, they have diplomatic immunity, but so Ravan said, but he has destroyed my Ashok Patika. Now, you've kidnapped somebody's wife and come. Hmm? So, he must be taught a lesson. So, they said, hmm? in Valmiki Ramayana, there's a beautiful description, no, that he brought Hanuman. Now, when, when an ambassador has come, that ambassador must be treated with respect. Here he is treating him as a criminal. So Hanumanji coiled upon his own tail and sat above Ravan. So he saw his tail and he says, you know, the attachment of an animal or a monkey is in his tail. So he told everybody, dip cloth in oil and tie his tail up and set it on fire. Hmm? Hanumanji just required his tail to be set on fire. He was on fire anyway. So set him on fire. And why? Because there is a saying, you know, Mard bina mooch and pashu bana pooch. You know, man, when his moustache is cut off, he could not face uh, 
his fellow beings. Nowadays is different anyway. It's not a man's world anyway, so. Without a tail, how will he go back with his lot? He'll be a laughing lot. With what face hmm? can he go there? So burn his tail and burn the tail of a monkey, which means you burn him only, right? So indirectly, this act of terrorism created by Ravan, he burnt, he said burn the tail. And everybody in Lanka, mind you, went to their homes, picked up whatever cloth they had and whatever oil they had dipped in it and everybody brought, it became like a fun game for them. And they went on tying, tying, tying. His tail and his tail became longer and longer and longer and longer and longer and longer and they went on tying and it became longer and longer. They went on tying, it went longer and longer and longer and that tail I don't mind it going as long and I can go on describing it and therefore in Hanuman Chalisa as you know, hmm, Hanumanji tails goes longer and longer because Hanumanji's tail is Brahma Pucham Pratishtha. And Brahman is infinite. But here it's something else only. Hmm? That he tied his tail up, tied, but they could not, they exhausted all the cloth, they exhausted all the oil in Lanka. Hmm? So they have given the cloth and oil. Hanumanji has to return it more gloriously, isn't it? Yeah. And they set his tail on fire. Yeah. And Hanumanji with his tail on fire jumped from house to house, house to house, house to house, setting the entire Lanka on, Lanka ablaze. And it is said, that all the 49 types of winds, now that Pavan Devata is seeing his son on fire, and there's fire and there is wind, it's a lethal combination. No? When there's a forest fire and the wind is blowing, then you see. And Hanumanji has crossed the waters and come. No? See the significance. Hmm? The entire Lanka burned except Vibhishan's house. Because he did not, don't say that Hanumanji burnt Lanka. The fire that they gave to his tail burnt their house only. Set someone's house on fire and your house is one day going to burn. Except Vibhishan, because Vibhishan was not party to this kind of karma or action. But it was that fire of sorrow, of seeing Mother Sita in that condition that Hanumanji burned the entire Lanka so that he would, all the Rakshasas included Ravan can know that what a monkey, a devotee of that mighty Ram can do, imagine when Ram himself comes to Lanka. And he said the entire Lanka, and here in we see, we have heard of mothers doing it. We know also that when that little boy that Parvati had manifested her little Ganesha and kept him on guard and when his neck was cut off, we have seen how a moment of sorrow for the child, how a mother turns into Kali and the fire of a wrath can burn the entire universe. 
how many of our mothers have done it for us, but how many are children who have done it for their mother, Hanumanji did it. Yeah. Seeing the sorrow of mother Sita, he burnt the entire Lanka. Yeah. Shoka won him. Through the sorrow of Sita, he burnt the entire Lanka. Another beautiful significance, Puja Gurudev had explained to us in the Dhyatma Ramayan, the inner Ramayan, and that talk that I had heard him as a youngster in Hong Kong, and that has come out as a book called Inner Ramayan. Please go to the bookstall and see how all these stories signify what lies within us. It's called the inner Ramayana. And in Sankat Mochan, how Hanumanji, who cannot bear the sorrows of anyone, how could he bear the sorrow of his mother? Ko nahi janate hai jag kapi Sankat Mochan and the significance here is also Kajakiebadevanakatumahaprabhutekivicharo Ko nahi janat hai jag me kapi Sankat mochan naam tiharo Ko nahi janat hai jag me kapi Sankat mochan naam tiharo When our whole country When the whole of Bharat Mata And her spiritual culture being usurped, looted, cashed upon and depleted from this very country itself. When the country is going through shambles, when the youth are getting completely disintegrated, it is at that time only For that Adhyatma Samskriti that is represented by Sita. And therefore, Gurudev used to say, we need Hanuman like missionaries. He got Ramchandraji, after that, there was nothing for him to gain. He was in the embrace of Ramchandraji. Even there, he thinks about Sugriv. He was with Ramchandraji. He could have sat back and let Anga then all go, no? Hmm? Let them do the work. Let me just sit and massage Ramchandraji's feet. Hmm? When our whole dharmic, adhyatmic, sanatan, samskriti, is suffering at that time. Hmm? During the Mahabharat war, when Balram goes on these Tirth Yatras, hmm? Krishna does not approve of it. Hmm? That missionary zeal, that fire which Gurudev saw during the freedom movement, and here in Siddhbadi, he told us that during the partition, before that he was literally thrown out of jail because of the freedom movement. And he recovered from that typhoid, that fire, 
But that fire ever burnt in him seeing the suffering that was there. And especially during partition, when he saw that how buildings were or houses were being burnt and how mothers, we have forgotten that. Yeah? Today we can sit in our luxurious this thing, uh, 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 homes and then say, oh, it is discrimination, that, that and all that. Where so as mothers to save their children, burning themselves, throwing their children so that somebody would catch them. Gurudev saw this with his own eyes. And with that fire, Lanka, which represents the world of materialism, where only pleasures, wealth, power matters. Where resides these Rakshasas who only want their pleasures and are ready to destroy anybody and especially destroy our spiritual culture. Because as long as India was spiritual, as long as India followed the Sanatan Dharma, India was the most prosperous country in the world. Is it not? In our inner life also, our spiritual life is just one corner somewhere. Everything else is very, very important to us. Practical life. Isn't it? Wealth is also for whom? Yeah. Billions and billions people hoard and do nothing because of which or from which country they have benefited. Living in the palatial golden palaces of Lanka, what did Hanumanji do? burning of Lanka is burning of our material attachments where the selfish ego thrives and gloats. Yeah. And seeing that distress of Mother Sita, great masters like Hanumanji, our Gurudev, come to shatter all these materialistic tendencies. Yeah. And this is another lesson that we learn. Sita Ji represents Lakshmi. Yeah. And who does not require Lakshmi for sustenance? Even for Dharma Karya. But the difference is Ravan cuts Sita for himself. Yeah. And that Lakshmi burnt his entire Lanka. While Hanumanji sought her as mother. And Ashta Siddhi Navanidhi ke data asvaradina janaki mata. All the powers and the capacity to gain wealth. And that what did Hanumanji use it hmm, for the service as well as for the sustenance of everyone. And that is the glory of this Hanumanji with folded hands whom we bow down to. Hmm. And he will never bear anything that gives us sorrow and ready to destroy all such low tendencies within and without. So this is a beautiful, beautiful verse 
दत यह शोक वनी जनकात्म जाया आधाय ते नैव ददाह लंका विद दैट फायर ही बर्नड लंका लेट हिम बर्न दैट नेगेटिविटीज दोज अटैचमेंट्स इन अस पवन तनय संकट हरण मंगल मोरतिरोप राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय बसव सुर भूप सियावर राम चंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय उमापति महादेव की जय बोलो भाई सब संतन की जय पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं